Hello everybody and welcome back to Domekeeper. Utter failure last time. Abysmal failure. Well, wasn't that abysmal. We had some good times. We talked about dragons, many dragons, cockatrices. We learnt things. We're better people for it, but we also, I mean, we lost while I wasn't paying attention and that has happened more than once now, unfortunately. Anyway, we're going to try the old miner... No, uh, fixed co-op mode again, just to try and unlock that miner mode. Because I think I've... Do you know, I haven't won... Either of the... Well, I think I need to win... Win, in air quotes, a fixed cobalt and an ender's run to unlock the miner run, just to have everything actually unlocked again. I'm just going to run the same thing back that we were doing last time. Uh, laser dome, uh, engineer... Uh, actually, I don't even know what our, our gadget is. <laughs> Uh-oh. Repellent, maybe? We're gonna find out. Repellent! I knew. And of course, the dragon pet. The whole reason we had the discussion on dragons. And or cockatrices, which are a dragon, but they're, they're cool. They're like a manticore, which is in its own right. Yeah, anyway, I... Let's not get hung up on that. We had a whole damn episode about that last time. And it all spawned from us getting the dragon egg. But it was good discussion. And it was worthwhile discussion. Because now you know. Well, actually, I don't know. Did we decide? We, I, don't, I don't remember if we decided that they are or are not a suitable pet. I don't think they are. No, they work because they could, they could kill you by breathing on you. Yeah, that's messed up. You don't want that from a pet. You know, some dogs are bad enough when they breathe on you. You're like, oh, God, what's up, dude? You know what I mean? Anyway, enough about that. We're here to mine. And we're here to do it with a fixed and limited store of Cobalt. And the dragon homie. Who's like, what's up, dude? You're back. They should add a mode where your pet can be upgraded. Oh crap. Bigger and more powerful. You know what I probably should have done if I was actually smart? Is we should have run this not with the repellent. Please die before you hit me. Yeah. Not with the repellent, but with the shield. Because we have fixed cobalt and we can't really repair the dome. I hadn't thought about that. But the good thing is, in theory, getting out of this run shouldn't be too hard when we want to because there's no cobalt, right? So everything is instead water and iron. Did we, we, we failed last time, right? Did, did it let us keep a gadget? I don't remember. I don't think it did. Did we have any gadgets? Well, we might not have had any gadgets, actually. Touche. Alright, well, because we are just starting completely base. Which is fine. We'll, we'll live with it. I need the wave timer. Though. Yeah, I discussed this last time, didn't I? I need the wave timer so I know when I need to get back. Like this. See, I'm, I'm late now. Fashionably late, which is fine. Any later than this, and it's actually late, late. Don't hit, don't hit the dome. Coward. You hit the dome. Uh, I have six. I want you. And you to tell me when to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. That should, it should. More air quotes that you can't see, but are in fact there. Though I didn't actually make them with my hands this time. Normally when I say... Something that clearly should be in air quotes, like, oh, it should, or yeah, we can definitely do this. I do make the air quotes. I take my hands fully off the controls. I just let the plane fly itself and do the air quotes. Because the plane wants to fly, baby. This time I didn't. I thought I should let you know. I don't want to be disingenuous with you. Anyway. In theory, we, we need 30... Cobalt to get off the planet. Now we could just blitz to 30 and run. That seems like coward strats though. 
but I'll let you know I'm not averse to coward strats. I'll do it. I will cut and run at the first opportunity if we have to. Just to get a win so that we can unlock minor. It's not even that I want the minor mode. It is relaxing. More relaxing than most of these other ones because you just... There's no enemies. You just come down here and you mine as much as you possibly can. Hey, idiot, pay attention to the wave timer. Okay, that was me letting me know that that sound is important. Okay. Uh, yeah, I actually want the minor... Well, I'd like the minor mode. I don't need it. But it is fun to do, like, every now and then. You do a minor mode where it's like, it's just you and how efficiently can you mine. Uh, back in the day, you know, I think we can mine pretty efficiently. If I do say so myself. I might be patting my own back, tooting my own horn, polishing my own Camaro, if you will. But we were pretty good at the old minor modes, I think. It's been so long since I actually had everything unlocked, I don't remember. <clears throat> anyway. That's my thoughts on the minor mode, which I believe... I, be I believe they're still working on, like, a kind of mode that's supposed to be like the minor mode, but you kind of terraform the planet as you do it. As, like, a pseudo-story mode kind of thing, which would be <laughs> cool as hell. Right, yeah, 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 that sound is important. Plus, I think they're trying to add, like, um... What do you call it? Damn it. Um... Like co-op and stuff. I meant to buy the. Uh, please. I hate you. Okay. Right. B -b Before I say anything else, debilitate. I want to. I want to buy the slow. I think buying the slow is going to help enormously. Because I'm already slow because of the. It's the laser dome, and it's been a while. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, please. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, they're, they're trying to add, like, a mode. That's like a story mode kind of stuff. They're trying to add co-op. I think they wanted to add local co-op and, like, online co-op, which would be cool. I don't know how you would do this with multiple people. It'd be sick if you both had a dome. Like, and... Like, but on the same map, you know what I mean? Could both be, like, helping each other out. That'd be cool. Or if you both had a weapon. Imagine two freaking artillery cannons. Dung, dung. Dung, dung. That'd be sick. That'd be the best update they ever added. More gun? <laughs> the more gun update? Yes, please. Oh, two Tesla domes. You only have to focus on one side of the map. Ooh. Now you got me thinking with portals, baby. Do we fast enough? No. Also, no. We need to. We need to be back. Ugh. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Check this out. Yeah. Debilitate them. I'm going to be shot by that guy. It just is. I'm not even going to bother trying to get to him. Because he's going to come to me. Idiot. Uh, buy that just in case. Eight monies. More speed, please. Yeah. More, oh, speed on the laser. Not on me. I'm slow. Like I said, though, we've got a couple more. Oops, a couple more of these. We could bring some of these back. Bum, bum, bum. Do we have. We have four now. Yeah, more speed on me. That's what we're talking about. Oh, you can feel it. I know I say it every single time, but when you reset back to the start. Oh, my God. You're so slow. And you don't realize how slow you are until you buy, like, a single speed upgrade. You're like, damn, right? I'm supposed to be this fast all the time? 
That's crazy. Anyway, how, how are you guys doing? This is my little, my opportunity to be like, hey, what's up? How are things? Stonekeeper is probably the least intensive game we play. It requires the least thinking. But no, I guess I'll have to go back. Ah. So I think the game there was like, he's still slow because he started the wave slow. It's good to know. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I've got some time off, so I'm able to record a bunch, which is nice. Gets me the li a little bit of the backlog. Not too much, because then I end up in a situation where I'm like five recordings ahead, and then someone's like, hey, by the way, did you know that you should do uh, this thing? And it's like way better than what you're doing. I'm like, sick, I do it wrong. For like the next three hours. <laughs> Bear with that and to try not to pull your hair out while I keep doing the thing on. But I think like Dome Keeper, easy enough to backlog because it's just me and the dome. And the dragon. Don't forget the dragon. Show some respect to my basilisk Comey. I you know we decided he's an well, he's a Chinese dragon. Yeah, so he's an Asian dragon. Oh, oh, do you want a gun or do you want a gun, you know? Uh, I've got to be honest. Gun. Yeah, more gun, please. Gun, good. Gun goes sicko mode. Both of them go sicko mode. But, like, yeah, the auto cannon goes sicko mode. So I'm always happy to have that. Maybe we'll actually achieve something here. There's so much stuff. Uh, We'll, we'll be back for all of you. You know, you know what? Don't be stupid either. Widen this. It makes it so much easier to get stuff back. And it, it's you like doing it, me. So just do it. Just do the thing. You got time? Yeah, I still got time. Oop. Right. Money's. Six. Mm, ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, no, I should have upgraded the gun. Ah! Ah! Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Just remember me. Upgrade the damn gun. Look how slow the gun is. Slow them. Snipe you. Because the gun's going to help me out with these guys. It's not much, but it helps. Beautiful. Delightful. Tasty. Tasty. Nice. All right. Upgrade the gun. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. There's one thing I would always maintain about Dome Keeper. The, the tracks list is insane. They're all good. This one goes harder than most. It has no right to go as hard as it does. Yeah. Listen to that. Any game with an insane score on my list. I love it. FT I'm putting on it right now. FTL, insane score. Into the Breach, back in the day, shoosh, insane score. What else have we played that has this? Oh, Brimworld. Yeah. Pretty much every track in Rimworld is a banger by design. And I love it. I haven't. Heard, I don't know if there's any new ones in the new update. Ah, huh. because when when the the royalty one came out and they added what I consider to be the greatest rumble banger of all time. Ding 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 ding. Oh, so good. How do they do it? I wonder if they added any any sick new ones. And. I'm gonna let the gun handle that. I'm just gonna kill that guy. Yeah, look at that. That's teamwork, baby. You know what? A smart thing. Stay here, kill him. Gun's doing some work. And. Yeah. Wait, is there anything else on the list? 
all, all of the we've played that has a banger soundtrack? I don't know. You can't remember them in the moment. And some games, they have like a good soundtrack. But it's not like... It's not like next level. Oh, you know what? There was a couple in Stardew Valley. Yeah. In the mountain? Uh, or the, or the, the volcano? Yeah, the volcano had a... It was like... It wasn't always on, but one of them was... It was a banger. I can't remember how it goes. Oh, I kind of remember how it goes. But it was like... It was epic, you know? And we never played it on the channel here. Because I played it on my own. Because... But... Cult of the Lamb. You ever played Cult of the Lamb? Oh my god, the soundtrack in Cult of the Lamb goes sicko mode. It's so good. It's the um, evolution of the songs is fantastic. Because every, like, the four different lands you're, you're dealing with, each one of them has, like, a bass tune while you're just in there, and then the boss has its own tune, and then, like, the big boss... Oh, god, go back. Big boss has its own tune. And then when you, like, when you're done... You kind of finish the game, and then they're like, here's a new stuff that we added in an update. And then they bring you back to the three lands, and they've evolved the music. Ooh. Ooh. I'm an Anchor Deep homie. The Anchor Deep soundtrack. That's a good one. That's a real good one. I don't know how they do it. No. No. Kill it. Got it. I'm the best. So yeah, if you ever get a chance to play Cult of the Lamb, A, cutesy little colony sim plus roguelite plus you're a lamb. So, like, gaming. But every song in that is, like, it's real good. Even the ones you don't expect. Even just the, like, oh, you're back at your cult. It's like, man, this is relaxing. I'm not doing anything bad that anyone knows of or can see visually, but it's happening under the scenes. You know? Oh, that's a good one. I think, that's, I think that's all the games that we've played that have a sicko soundtrack. There's loads out there. I maintain that the Metroid series of games has some of the best music ever made. And the Prime Trilogy on top of that. Ooh. Ooh. Now that is some gaming music. If I do say so myself. Almost every one of them is nuts, right? The ambient themes, they bring a tear to your eye. Just like, I'm in, a, I'm in a damn world created by a bunch of dudes in Austin, Texas on behalf of the Nintendo Corporation, and yet, I feel like I'm on another planet and everything is beautiful. And then the boss themes, you're like, oh my god, everything's gonna die, but also I'm vibing to it. Oh, those are some soundtracks. Well, let, let me think what, for one second. Gun. Gun. One more and we can make the bullet fat. Okay. I'm ready. Wow, he's fast. Here, idiot. Get absolutely slowed. You still shot me, you coward. Gotcha. Sweet. But yeah, if you never played the, have you never played the Metroid games? Play them; they're amazing. If you never played the Prime trilogy? Play it. Best music, hands down. That's my personally. I know you didn't. This isn't part of the equation right now, but that is my personal favorite game trilogy of all time. I was brought up on those games. I love them so much. The music is fantastic. Every score feels unique. You feel like you're in a different place every time. The, I mean, the first game, everything is amazing. Second game is my bread and butter. That's why I, that was my, that was like the first like game I played. And oh, such, what a good one. What an S tier banger to start off with. Some people will be like, yeah, it's not as good as the first one. They're idiots. Don't listen to them. And if that's one of you, you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to you, okay? It's one of the best ever made. One of the greatest of all times. Goated up with the source, if you will. So play them. Amazing. The third one, also insane. I'll admit. I'll admit. 
Very good. Very open world. Very Metroid. Love it. Second one's still better to me. That is, you yeah, know, it's the nostalgia, the rose-tinted glasses. Or for those, please just mind it, for those in the know, the dark ether-tinted glasses. <laughs> uh -huh, Metroid joke for my Metroiders out there. But yeah, oh, good soundtrack. I feel like some games, soundtrack doesn't really matter, if I'm going to be honest. Let me posit an example. The Gears of War franchise. I don't think I could name a single point in a Gears of War game in which I recognize that there is music actively playing while whatever is going on is going on. Except one notable example. And that's when Dom dies. <laughs> and that might be one of the most horrendous moments in gaming history where you're like, sick. You're playing a banger. Like an actual marketed real song banger, and I'm sad because one of the one of your like main homies is like clearly about to you know unhomie himself. That's probably the only time in a Gears of War game where you recognise there's music playing and it scares you that the music is playing because you're like, uh oh, he's about to do some dumb shit and it's about to affect me. Emotionally. Let's go. Other than that, that one moment, and if you're in the know, you know. Other than that one moment, I, I don't think I could tell you a single point in Gears of War history where there's music. It, any, at any time. Honestly, it's the sound of... Well, as far as I can remember, and I've got to be honest... Me and the homie played Gears 5 recently for the first time, and it was the same thing. The whole the whole experience, as f to the best of my memory, and it, it was literally like two weeks ago, there's no music at all. It's the sound of your characters talking. Hold on. It's the sound of your characters talking. It's the sound of gunfire uh in the 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 more modern one it was the sound of you know those characters talking and mostly <laughs> mostly me and him being like oh shit we got old dude because none of these youthful like zoomer characters mean anything to us but the old school games it was gunfire the sound of the baddies going like, and then the sound of Marcus Phoenix, played by Dom, De, uh, Dom De, uh, ah, John DiMaggio, <laughs> saying Dom because I'm talking about Dom recently. John DiMaggio going, Dom, the locusts, we got to stop the locusts, Dom. And then you're like, yeah, brother, I can do that. I'll, I'm with you, Mr. Phoenix. Sign me the F up. I'm on board. I'm going to go fight the queen, and I'm going to kill all of the locusts. And I don't know who they are, but the game has taught me that they are different from me, and that is bad, and we're going to kill them. And that's the first game. No music, as far as I can remember. Just like, bang, 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 bang. Damn, there's locusts. And the locusts will be like, and you're like, oh, shit, that thing's like an actual, like, bad MF, you know? And then, uh, the uh, like, the shotgun going up. And that's pretty much the game. Yeah, I think that's the game. That's my experience anyway. Oh, plus, uh, the sound of the Hammer of Dawn. Like a space laser going off. It'd be like, beep, beep, beep. And that's that's the best sound in the game. The, the sound of just justice raining from the heavens. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. But yeah, no music <laughs> to, to my memory. And that's fine. Sometimes a game doesn't need a memorable soundtrack. It's well, Especially, you know, the other sound is in a friggin' Gears War. It's the sound of the active reload. When you when you hit the active reload, you get the bonus bullets like, ka -ching! You're like, yeah, dude. That's, that's what it's all about. None of this, like emotionally powerful music that sets a sense of tone and self for the characters and or the person playing. No! Bullets and guns and dead people. 
And it works. Doesn't always work, but in this case it works. And so let that be a lesson. You don't need an impressive soundtrack. You know what? I think I figured it out. I figured out gaming. Game development. It's a it's a flow chart, right? So it's it's your game at the top. You flow down. If minimalistic in style, like Dome Keeper, then add banger soundtrack. Right? Dome Keeper, FTL, into the bridge. Then other side, not minimalistic. Okay, then if chainsaw on machine gun. Yes. Okay, don't bother adding a soundtrack. Just make the sound of the chainsaw revving up sick as hell. And you've sorted it out. Uh, plus, make the sound of the chainsaw cutting through someone sick as hell. You've you figured out gaming, right? If minimalist, bang a soundtrack. If chainsaw on gun, make chainsaw sick. Right? You notice how it wasn't... Oh, there's a thing over here. I didn't even realise. You notice how it wasn't if triple A game... Don't bother with soundtrack. No, no, no. Some AAA games need a good soundtrack. If your AAA game has a chainsaw on the gun, that's the only if that you can get rid of the soundtrack. You know what I should specify? There's a third branch. If John DiMaggio, then you probably don't need a banger soundtrack either. Because he's going to DiMaggio it up. You know what I'm talking about? He's going to say some things in his gruff voice. Oh, crap, hold on. He's going to say some things in his gruff voice, and you're going to be like, I'm on board with whatever you're saying. He's, it turns out he's like, we're going to commit war crimes. And you're like, yeah, dude. I'm on board. War what? Yeah, I just heard war. I'll fight with you, John DiMaggio, as Marcus Phoenix, and or Jake the Dog, and or Bender Bending Rodriguez. Yeah? Man's got range, what can I say? Anyway, that, that's my perspective on gaming. If you don't like it, you're wrong. It's true. Name me a game with a chainsaw on the gun that needed a good soundtrack. Hmm? I'll wait. I'll wait. That's right. There's none. Because it has a chainsaw on the end of your gun. And if you're smart about your chainsaw on the end of your gun game... Then, when you add more game, oh, squiddy. When you add more games to your compendium of guns with chainsaw on the end of your, or games with chainsaw on gun, and you evolve the chainsaw gun, add something also cool. For example, the Gears franchise, they they maintained no need for a banger soundtrack because they added a huge freaking knife on the end that you can stab a dude in the chest and lift him over your head with. That's a good addition. That qualifies you for the no soundtrack model of gameplay. And everything else, flamethrowers, sick. Grenades you can stick to a person, sick. All you need to do is make every other sound in your game overbearingly awesome. And you don't ever need to actually worry about what music is playing. Because I, I, I know it's been like kind of a bit this whole time. I genuinely can't remember a single, like, background music track that plays in a Gears of War game. I remember the sound the giant friggin' rift worm makes that tunnels through the earth. I remember the sound of the Hammer of Dawn. I remember many of the things Marcus Phoenix says. I don't remember a single ambient track in the whole damn game. And that's just the way I like it. Something like this, all the better, right? Because the game, I'm not chainsawing people in half, no matter how much I want to chainsaw these damn aliens in half. But while I'm not chainsawing an alien in half, the music is perfect. Oh, okay. Let's just be aware that we are close enough to death to be concerned. Listen to that. That music is perfect because it's just haunting enough to be unnerving. 
but at the same time, it's not really his goal. It's just like the world is the world you're on. Oh, I thought that interrupted the music completely. There you go. The world that we're in is not ours. And just be aware of that. You know? Just leave you here, because we also have whatever this is over here. Boom, 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 boom. And some games do it right. Oh, you're a supplement. Huh. I don't have any water. Let's take, let's take this gadget back and just be done with it. So, now you have my views on games and soundtracks. And let me be clear, okay? The Prime Trilogy of games, AAA games, right? But the soundtrack is amazing. And it has to be because that's the atmosphere of the game. Gears of War, well, remember, chainsaw on gun. Uh... I gotta be honest, I think I'm going Spire, and... Uh, oh, I have 26 money? When in the hell did that happen, brother? Nobody told me about that. Double up on that. Um... Spire me up. Yeah, and... Can't afford any of this, that's okay. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Okay, I hate that you're doing what you're doing, so cut that out. Alright. Let me ice you. No problemo. Right? I already said no problemo. You can't back Yeah. So you can't take back your no problemo. It's just disrespectful. You know what? There's a... There's a game I haven't played. I wanted to play. I don't know if it would go on the channel. I don't know if it's the kind of game to go on the channel. Called Wild Frost. It's like a like a deck builder kind of thing. You fight, you know, monsters. Roguelike. Not very long in terms of like a full run. But that thing also has a kind of killer soundtrack. Oh. You know what else? So we're, this is the soundtrack episode, okay? We're talking about original soundtracks in games. It would be remiss of me if I didn't mention two things. One, Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus. You're going to say, really? Oh my god, the music is haunting and it's beautiful and I love it. Number two, Doom. Both 2016 and Eternal. And by extension, the original Doom games. All of the music in that is Perfect for what it is, for where the, for where the game is, what it does, what you're doing. The original Doom, you know, 1996, running around, shooting the crap out of demons, just you and your shotgun. That's amazing. That's what you want to hear in your head while you're running and gunning. I love it. The 2016 Doom remake. Which I actually think has a better soundtrack than Doom Eternal. Hot take. Though, don't get me wrong. It's like... It's like comparing perfection to perfection. I think Doom 2016 is slightly more perfect than Doom Eternal. But they are both on a level uh, above pretty much all others, as far as I'm concerned. The OST in those games... It's unreal, man. Even just the little... Um... Like opening track that they that they run that's like you've played you play a bit of the game that kind of acts as a pseudo tutorial to be like press you know click right stick to rip this guy's arm in half and use the protruding bone to stab him in the mouth and you're like gangster i'm in i'm gonna fight the devil uh and then you do a little bit of that then they play a little thing i'm the um in my head, I'm thinking about the 2016 Doom. Play a little thing where you get in an elevator. And the... Not the big boss, like, bad guy, but, like, the kind of, you know, anti-hero, antagonistic character talks to you. With a, a cool voice, by the way. Dr. Samuel Hayden's talking to you. And then the music, it kind of builds. 
and it builds a little bit while while he's talking. He's saying some ridiculous shit about how it's all worth it for humankind, you know what I mean? Like, there's demons everywhere. You look down, dead dude. Your character's kind of sassy even though he doesn't say anything. And then there's like, cut, d uh, doom, or like cut, it's software, doom, bam, 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 bam. And you're like, I'm fucking in. I'm I'm into this. I'm the Doom Slayer. I'm gonna kill demons. I'm gonna punch the devil in the throat. That game is a game that has, that has an unconditionally amazing soundtrack. Everything is good, even just the ambient stuff where you're like, I'm just chilling in what might be hell, or is it the UAC facility on Mars? Every one of them is perfect for where they are set. Hold on, let me just focus on these dudes for one second. Thank you. Every single one of them is perfect where they are set. Um, everything has the... It brings the gravitas that it needs. The BFG division. Oh, baby. What a banger. You know what I'm talking about? Any, well, maybe you don't, but if you don't... Seriously, listen to the Doom soundtrack. It goes hard. Click. And so, it would be remiss of us to talk about soundtracks without mentioning Doom and Doom Eternal. And, in my personal opinion, the Mechanicus game, because that also has a, a soundtrack that goes kind of nutty. It fits the vibe, you know what I mean? Like, Doom, they understood the assignment, right? You are going to kill a bunch of demons, and you're going to enjoy doing it. So why not have a list that goes nuts? And it does, man. The way it builds as well, where it's like, there's like a kind of ambient scalar to it. There's like, you're just, you know, the, the music's playing, but then combat starts, it like scales up to what's going on. You're like, oh, I'm punching, I'm shooting things, I'm ripping this thing's eye out and feeding it to it. Don't worry, they're all demons. And then like, you, you kill everything, and then it's like, and it chills out a little bit and goes back to kind of the like, like lighter slower version of the track oh yeah that's what i'm talking about and then the mechanicus one they 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 understood the assignment it's like we're making a game about like essentially like gregorian tech wizards and so they're like, okay, well, what do you do? First off, Gregorian chant in pretty much everything, but none of it makes any sense because it's all in binary. Check. Uh, like, the sound of distant explosions. Check. Uh, church organ. check -a Fantastic. Uh, let me oh, God, this is one of the freaking... I have some... <clears throat> I have some money. Some money? Okay. Let's just try and kill you. Okay, so we can kill you before you hit the dome. Not you, though. Alright. <clears throat> well, I'm glad we had that little talk about... I don't even know how we got to where we are right now, but... I'm glad we had that little talk about soundtracks. I really enjoyed it, actually. So, I think we're going we're gonna to call it here, because I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, but... Just... Just... If you've, got to, if you've got to take anything away from this video, listen to the the soundtrack from this game. If you if you haven't heard it in the videos, listen to the soundtrack from Domekeeper. Listen to the soundtrack from uh, Into the Breach. Listen to the soundtrack from FTL. Listen to the soundtrack from uh, Cult of the Lamb. Yeah, listen to Cult of the Lamb. Listen to the soundtrack from Doom, Doom Eternal, Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus, and, oh crap, there's one more on the list. Oh, the Metroid. The Metroid Prime series of games. Listen to that soundtrack. And report your findings back to me in the next one. Okay, for now, thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed our little chat. Uh, if you did, hit the like button. It helps out a great deal. Really appreciate it. Love your faces for it. If you're new, consider subscribing to the channel for more content. And make sure you check the links in the description and ring the notification button. I'll see all of you in the next one. See ya!